Hey, I'm Rudy Harper. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. An argument over who was first in line at a haunted house ends in a deadly shooting. It happened near the Erebus haunted house in Pontiac late last night. Deputies say the victim and his girlfriend were in line when a person in front of them wouldn't move. The suspect reportedly thought the victim and his girlfriend had cut him in line. After exchanging words, both the suspect and victim left separately to go to the parking lot. Investigators say that's when the victim was shot and killed. Witnesses say a blue sedan fled the scene. Deputies are now looking for a 29-year-old Detroit man believed to be in these photos. Police say officers in Dearborn shot and killed a man as he was stabbing his girlfriend in the face. She survived, thankfully, but police say it may not have ended that way if officers hadn't acted quickly. Police were called to the apartment on Park near Mason this morning, and it was the victim herself who called 911 in the middle of the attack. Meantime, Michigan State Police have been called in to do an independent investigation. After back-to-back -back losses to open the season, the Lions are now winners for the first time in 2020. Matt Prater kicked a 39-yard uh, field goal as the time expired Sunday to give Detroit a 26-23 win over the Arizona Cardinals. It snaps a streak of 11 consecutive Lions losses dating back to last season. Detroit hosts the New Orleans Saints next Sunday. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert for forecast. Hey, thanks, Rudy. We're going to have temperatures that are hold into the 60s, but scattered showers move through tonight. The clouds aren't going anywhere and they'll still be with us for your Monday morning.